Hey everybody, how's it going? So I've gotten a lot of comments asking me to comment on this issue whereby Apple is locking people from replacing their batteries, and I don't think the word, use of the word lock is exactly the best thing here because it's going to give people the wrong idea. So i just like to explain what it is that's going on. So if you watch this video on the Art to Repair channel, it's a pretty good channel that goes over things that are relevant to repair, you should check out his video, I'll link it down below, and also this iFixit article. What you'll learn is that with the newer iPhones, like the XS Max, if you replace the battery, even if you replace it with a battery from another iPhone, when you put it in the phone, it will still say service battery or poor battery health in the battery health section of the iPhone. Now, this is interesting for a couple of reasons. So the first is a lot of people have been commenting saying, look, if you replace a battery in an iPhone, in the new iPhone, it won't work. That's not exactly true. You can replace the battery. It will still charge. It will still report the proper percentage. It will still work. But the battery health section will tell you that the battery still has bad health, even if you put in a battery of perfect health that's the same battery as the original. What he did here, he did not take a battery from eBay or Amazon or his vendor that said, yeah, bro, you can trust me. I gave you an original. He took a battery out of another phone that came from an Apple store put it in there, and it was still giving you a service battery icon. Now, this is not necessarily being done to keep you from being able to replace the battery. In my opinion, this is being done to mess with the trust that consumers have in independent repair shops. So the way an interaction may go is something like this. So a customer walks into an independent repair shop, they say, can you replace my battery? They say, sure, it'll be 50 bucks. You get a one year warranty, it's a quality battery. And the guy goes like, you know, are you sure that's an original? Are you like, not messing with me or anything? And they go, no, check it out. It's a good battery, I'll put it in warranty for a year. And they go, okay. They put the battery in the phone. The customer looks at their phone, kind of skeptical at the independent repair shop, and goes, why does it still say service battery? Did you really give me a good battery? Are you sure you gave me something good? Did you even replace it? Because it says service battery. And then the guy says, yeah, I did. And he's like, no, you didn't. Give me a refund. Pfft. These are the kind of interactions that, in my opinion, I imagine, are the reasons that Apple is doing this, so that when you replace the battery in the phone, even if you put a new Apple battery, it will still tell you replace or service battery or poor battery health. It's going to erode the trust that consumers have in independent repair, and it's going to add a lot of friction to these interactions to the point where consumers will say, might as well just go to the Apple store when they have this type of issue. Now, I've been talking about this since uh, the beginning of my channel and also the beginning of my business back in 2008 or 2009. Consumers were really, really stressed out, especially if they had went to the Apple store or spoken to them on the phone beforehand. I've had people come to me saying, you know, they said if you say you can fix the board that you're probably scamming me. I've had consumers sit over me and I've told them, you can take a look at this screen. This is an LP133WX1. TLA1, the same thing that Apple uses. Your brightness control will still work. You can even look at the LG box I got it from. It has an A on the side rather than a 9, so you know I got it from the great A stack rather than the, the B stock pile of crap with the LG boxes. That If you have an LG box of screens and you see 9 on it, by the way, you got their junk pile, just so you know. But I would tell them, you could watch me do the entire repair. You could look over my shoulder. You could not pay until it's done. You can check out the part yourself, and you could not pay until you see that it's a good part. People were still so scared based on what they heard at the Apple store or the Genius bar or the customer service line that they did not they, they were very weary about having anything done and one thing that I've been trying to do with this channel by showing you the exact workshop that I work in not doing any special effects not you know going crazy with the editing is show you that I as a normal person this is exactly how I do the job this is it from the beginning to the end this is what the Apple store told you this is what's inside your machine this is the actual truth what I've been trying to do here is get people to trust independent repair shops a little bit more there are many independent repair shops that are do things that are ex not exactly savory, and you'll see me point them out on this channel and name them and shame them on a regular basis. But for the most part, independent repair shops are trying to be honest, are trying to do the right thing, and there, it's taken us a really long time to earn the trust of our customers. It took a lot of videos like that one from the CBC News piece. It took a lot of work, effort, time, and hustling to get to a point where people walk in the door and, they now, and the perspective has changed to where rather than them believing everything they hear at the Apple store and thinking we're ripping them off, now they believe what we're telling them, and when they go in the Apple, into the Apple store, they're going in with that little skeptical eye of, is that really true? Do I really need to pay $1,200, $2,000 when there's a bent pin here? Do I really need to pay $800 because there's a blown fuse and so on and so forth? Do I really need the entire top case replaced rather than just the trackpad? 
they're starting to become skeptical at Apple. So my theory here is that what's going on is Apple's kind of pissed off at people walking into their store being skeptical about wh what the genius tells them. They want that skepticism to return to when the customer has an experience with independent repair. And what better way to do that than to have their phone say service battery or this part that they replaced is actually shit even after the independent service center has put in a part that literally came from an Apple store from another phone that has a good battery. This is genius on their part to erode the trust that consumers have in independent repair that we've been doing such a good job of building up over the past 10 years. And it's something that may actually work. Think about it. If you're just starting out, if you're new to the business, you only have one Yelp review, you just opened up, you're young in business, and you, somebody shows up to your store, asks you to replace a battery, you replace it. Right after it's done, the phone says, nah, uh, uh the battery you put in is still a piece of crap. It's going to be really hard to argue with that when the manufacturer's product is telling you, hey, oil light is on right after the mechanic replaced the oil. It's going to erode the trust that you have in that mechanic. And one of the things that I've been trying to do over the past five to six years on this channel, one of the reasons I think it's so important to go over the many, many ways within which the Genius Bar just bends you over when you go there and the many things that Apple does that I don't like is build up that trust and goodwill so that when things like this start happening, consumers start to realize that it ain't the independent repair shop screwing them over, it's the genius bar in the Apple store that's screwing them over. And what I'm hoping is that with all the information that I've put out there over the years, that when an independent, when uh, an iPhone XS owner goes to an independent replace, they have a battery replaced on their phone and gets it replaced and it still says service battery, that they believe that independent repair shop owner when they tell them, hey, this isn't me. This is a software issue. Apple has a program that will make that go away and they won't give me access to it. And over the past, we've had our arguments and debates over things that are over privacy or security or like the home button error 53 thing that everybody said was about security that wasn't actually about security. It was an Apple bug that they, uh, that they pretended was about security for PR purposes. We had many arguments about things that were for security or not for security. Even if you are a diehard Apple fan, if you're an R Apple reader, if you're an Apple stockholder, tell me honestly from the bottom of your heart, what is the security or privacy or, you, or user benefiting reason to make it so that if you take a battery from a perfectly unopened iPhone XS and you, rep and you put it in your phone, that it says service battery? What, how does this benefit the user? I really want to know. Because to me, this move, in my opinion, appears to be a move whose sole purpose is to erode consumer trust in independent repair. Because, again, if, if you give me any of that security, privacy, think of the children, oh, my God, batteries explode out of the blue kind of thing, just, just no, no, just don't give me none of that. Now, the thing is, I can understand when people say, hey, you know, t battery health, is that really a feature you expect to have in the phone? You know, like, my phone doesn't have a battery health feature in it. I can't check the health of my battery on my phone. And, you know, the iPhone XS, it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's kind of a cheap device. You can't expect to have these types of features on it. Are you going to buy another iPhone knowing that this is the type of stuff that they're pulling on a regular basis? Are you going to buy another iPhone? You probably are, aren't you? You're probably on Apple.com right now or standing outside an Apple store waiting to get pay $1,500 for a product that if you so much as replaced a battery on, may in the future not even work. Hey, you know, again, this is, this is something that is being done now just with the battery health feature what if and you, you could say i have a tinfoil hat on what if with the iphone 11 or 12 or 13 we get to a point where it's like oh that's not a battery that we that you paid us for we're, re we're really just one step away from that being a reality again if you gave them money if you gave this company money after doing this you got nobody to blame but yourself there are lots of people that have said, well, there should be a law against this. There should be legislation that keeps the company from doing this. There already is. It's called user choice. There are many other companies that you could purchase a smartphone from where if you replace the battery, it's not going to give you some fear-mongering, BS, bullshit warning claiming that it's a bad battery just because it didn't have the blessing, the mwah, of the OEM. But you chose to buy this one. I don't need legislation to do this for me because I simply don't buy from companies that do this to begin with. And I hope you won't as well. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.